Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight somebody emailed me. Well, we went back and forth before I made this video. Uh, they finally sent me the file. They were trying to interlock these two letters like this, and I'm mainly an engraver, so this would look like, this wouldn't look as cool as the outline one, but they want the gray. So the problem was when they left click no fill and right click hairline they were trying to use the virtual segment delete key and it doesn't work well it doesn't work because these are still a font they're aerial so go up to object and convert to curves now your virtual segment delete key will work so we want to delete that line and we want to delete that line and then we want to delete that line and that line and then you can take your smart fill tool and with the lighter gray fill in the S and then change it back to a black or, or whatever color you use and do these parts then take away your outline by left clicking no outline i really think it looks better like this if you're going to engrave it and just a word of and i've done this several times if i was going to engrave this on a plaque i'd be real careful uh, even with color you know playing with the colors because this is only you know 30% black. What I would do is put it in your laser. Let's see, we don't need 50, yeah, 15 inches nudge factor. And grab with the shape, uh, shift tool, grab all your grays and get it out of the way and engrave this at 100% power and 50 speed. And then move this back and move with your shift key, grab those two pieces. And then engrave this at 100 uh, power it, you know, really fast, like 90 speed or even less your power. And the good thing I like about that, this is already on the screen. You can see what it looks like. And then if this isn't quite dark, so I'd run it at maybe 70 power at 90 speed. If that's not dark enough, run it again. And then it's going to look like that after you get through engraving. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.